Are you struggling with finding a job or do you have a hard time searching for jobs? In this presentation, I provide you with 12 tips in searching for jobs that can lead to more interviews. I'm Jacob Chichuk, an employment specialist at Catholic Charities Kansas City St. Joseph, and welcome to another employment services presentation. Next, you really want to prepare yourself for looking for a job, and looking for a job is one of the hardest things to do, especially if you haven't done it in a while. So you really want to know how to properly search for a job because that is a big key to getting one. You want to know what you want to do beforehand. So know exactly what field you want to go to and what kind of job you want before looking for anything. And then be prepared to have a lot of accounts with different job searching databases, such as Monster, ZipRecruiter, and even Indeed. And then the big other thing you need to do is have one set email that is a professional email. Here are the 12 tips for successful job searching. One, be selective with your search. Two, maintain a strong digital presence. Three, customize your application. Four, learn a new skill. Five, network regularly. Six, participate in job fairs. Seven, visit company websites. Eight, leverage your current relationships. Nine, use a headhunter. 10, join a professional organization. 11, bypass human resources and 12 look offline. The first tip is be selective with your search. So you wanna know what specific job you want and who you want to work for. You also wanna find jobs in companies that really excite you or feel that you're gonna be excited to go in every day and work for. And then lastly, it helps you feel confident about position when speaking to hiring manager. So a lot of this is doing a lot of different research and finding different companies that would excite you or that you would really benefit from as well as grow and a company that you would really like. And this is where that comes into. So this first tip is really searching for companies and finding out what's out there that you're going to like. Number two is you really want to maintain a strong digital presence. So create a lot of different job related social media profiles such as monster.com, ZipRecruiter, Indeed, and especially LinkedIn. And you really wanna make sure that these are complete and they tailor you to be a strong candidate. And lastly, what you want in these profiles is you want keywords that are specific to your skill set or work that you've done. Tip number three is customize your application. So you can actually personalize your cover letter and or resume towards every role that you apply for. And you can do this by seeing how your skills fit towards that job, and then you tailor your resume to highlight those skills. And another way that you can do this is using keywords from the job descriptions. So if you put those keywords that are in the job description, such as needs customer service, if customer service is on your resume, it's gonna help you really get those interviews a lot quicker. Tip number four is learn a new skill. So learning a new skill, it can surround yourself with other professionals in the industry. It can also give you confidence and energize you. And all this confidence and energizing is also gonna help enhance your resume and really show hiring managers your professional growth. And with all this professional growth, it's gonna help you learn about new opportunities as well. And learning those new opportunities can lead into jobs that you never thought about or even looked up and meeting those professionals in those industries is gonna help you land interviews and even land a job. Number four, learning a new skill is a great intro into tip number five, which is network regularly. And networking is one of the most important tools that you can use when searching for a new job. It gives you the chance to learn about opportunities that may not be openly advertised, and it's also the more people you network with, the more opportunities you learn about and the more possible referrals you will receive. So networking is a really big thing when you're looking for another job. And that's why networking and learning a new skill really tie into each other really well, because if you're learning a new skill, then you're also networking. And when you're networking, you're learning about other opportunities that you really didn't know about, which is going to lead into getting those interviews and landing more jobs. Tip number six is participate in job fairs. Now, job fairs can be kind of scary, but they're really helpful. And they're held throughout the year, and usually some type of job fair is held every week. Now, these job fairs can sometimes be specific industry-based, 
or they're just kind of all over the industry. So a bunch of different companies coming all to one area and having job fairs. So a job fair allows you to meet employers who are hiring directly. And so it's really important that you get to meet these employers face to face before even an interview and before even applying. So you can actually learn about these different jobs and these different companies directly. And what you really wanna do before going to a job fair is you wanna plan and research well in advance. Like I said, some job fairs are industry based and specific industries are only holding those specific job fairs. Whereas some other job fairs are a bunch of other different companies where it's just kind of sporadic. And the biggest thing about job fairs is you can actually earn interviews on the spot and you can even get hired on the spot. So participate in job fairs when you're looking for a job is really important. Tip number seven is visit company websites. So first, identify a short list of the companies that you are most interested in. And then once you have that list, you wanna visit these company websites as much as possible to find out if they're hiring or if the positions that you're interested in have been taken off. And then many companies won't even post open positions on job sites and will only post them on their own website instead. So you may have an Indeed profile or a monster.com profile, but the company that you're most interested in may not even be posting to that and they're only posting on their website. So if you're checking that website every day, seeing what they're posting, it's gonna give you a better understanding of what jobs are out there for that company. And then monitoring all the websites will also give you a chance to notice a new position opening sooner rather than later. Tip number eight is leverage your current relationships. So it's not what you know, it's who you know. So the more relationships that you create, this is gonna give you a more likelihood of a referral. And referrals are sometimes really important for specific jobs, especially if a job is asking for a referral letter. Some jobs even ask just for a basic referral and that's all they need. And social media can be used for leveraging personal and professional networks. And the reason for this is because if you're asking someone to be a referral for you, it's also best to say, hey, I'll be a referral for you as well if you need it in the future. And it's kind of bouncing back and forth. And that is really creating and leveraging your current relationships and making them stronger and giving you those more referrals and a better referral. Tip number nine is use a headhunter. Now using a headhunter is really only beneficial if you are struggling to finding a job or you're just struggling and searching for a job, or maybe you just don't have enough time to sit down and do all of the, the things that go into looking for a job. And so what a headhunter is, is a person who identifies and approaches suitable candidates employed elsewhere to fill business positions. So what you can do for using a headhunter is you can go to a placement agency or even just a specific headhunter, and they're gonna help you in finding the right position. And their main job is looking at all your skills, your resume, previous positions that you've held, and they're gonna go out and find those right positions that they feel are gonna be best suited for you. They're also gonna ask what you like and what you like to do, what are some of your skills, so that way they better understand you as a, as a professional, so they can go find those right positions for you. And in the end, they will have a lot of different positions that you can apply for. Sometimes headhunters will even apply for you and they'll go through that whole process with you and they'll stick with you until you get a job. Tip number 10 is join a professional organization. Now joining a professional organization can be really beneficial to your job searching. And what you really wanna do is join a professional organization that's in your field, especially a field that you are trying to get a job in. And it's beneficial because it's going to give you the opportunity to learn and expand on your current skill set as well as network. So it's really big on networking and when you join these professional organizations. So you're going to meet new people and you're going to be mentally present and engaged and you may even meet someone who can assist in your job search. You also may even meet, meet someone who has a job opportunity that they're willing to interview for. It's really beneficial. It's one of the main things that you should do when you're looking for a job is join a professional organization because you're going to be better equipped with networking and meeting new relationships 
and creating those new relationships to hopefully land you a job in the future. Number 11 is bypass human resources. So bypassing human resources can sometimes be a little difficult as when you apply for jobs, sometimes it's just an automated email that you get back that just says, thank you for applying. We're gonna look at your resume and application and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And sometimes they don't get back to you. And so it's really hard to kind of bypass those human resources. And so what you wanna do is you wanna find someone you can connect with that is from the department that you're applying in. So that's when looking at the companies that you're applying to and figuring out who may work in those departments that you're applying to so you can kind of sneak in there and talk to them and figure out what the hiring process looks like. And you wanna see if you have any connections who could get you an introduction as well. And so if you connect with somebody who works in the department you're applying to and really start talking to them they can eventually lead you to getting a interview or even just a brief introduction that will lead up into an interview. Reach out to people in the department as well just to get coffee and learn more about the company position. So again, this is networking, but it's networking with the company that you're applying to and the people in the department that you're applying for. And in the end, this may get you a personal referral for the job and a personal referral from somebody who's already in the department is very, very beneficial as most times a referral from somebody within the department is going to lead to a hire. And tip number 12 is utilize word of mouth. Word of mouth is just basically your simple way of looking for jobs and you want to find small companies within your area make a list of the ones that you're most interested in then you want to reach out with a cold email and just simply state in that email that you're looking for a position and just seeing if they are hiring for anything that you may qualify for and then next you want to find out if you're connected with anybody who works there you may be connected with somebody who works at those small companies that can give you that personal referral and then constantly check their website to see if they're hiring most websites will post all their positions on their website and it will be on there and it'll be posted usually daily or weekly with different positions, new positions, old positions that are getting reposted as well. So just constantly look at their websites to see what they're hiring for and if there's anything that you could qualify for. To conclude, searching for a job can be scary and tiring, but if you just follow these 12 simple steps, you're going to feel a lot better when searching for jobs. And you may even see an increase in companies interviewing you and even making you offers. So if you are looking for a job, we wish you the best of luck. And if you need any sort of help, feel free to contact Catholic Charities and we'll be happy to help with your search. Again, my name is Jacob Chichuk and I am an employment specialist at Catholic Charities Kansas City St. Joseph. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I will be happy to help.